I've got a couple bird deals that I think are going to hit right in your sweet spot. Christina and Jim, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to episode 120 of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I, uh, I work for you folks, right? I, I take your criteria, I take your needs, I take your wants, and I scour the Cleveland market and I try to find the deals that are going to match for you perfectly, right? Holton Wise, if you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab. We sell properties. You can click on the investment properties for sale show. Make sure you have clicked the, the email subscription button so we can go ahead and email that show to you every single day. And we're going to have video tours and we're going to break down the investments. On top of that, though, you go to this show, MLS Search Analysis Show, where we work for you and for you alone. We are not being hired by the sellers to sell you properties. We are here just on your behalf and we are um, breaking down properties and searching the market, checking in with the other 5,000 real estate agents in this market for sale by owner. The whole shebang, we're out there working for you. And that's what my clients, Christina and Jim, that's the route they wanted to take. You can go either route or you can go both routes, right? That's what Christina and Jim wanted to do. Uh, Jim, you own a landscaping company. and Christina, you're a project manager for a software company. You guys are out of state. You're not in the Cleveland market. So you felt it was smart to get the 10 property package and uh, really work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go back and forth and, and try to find some stuff and help you build your portfolio. Essentially, the big thing you guys were looking for, you guys are down to either just traditionally finance deals if they're good deals and you're also interested in burning out some deals so you can really stretch your capital far. And that sweet spot for you guys, you guys want to be in the 40 to 55K range and you'd like to get 900 to 1,000 in rent uh, and you'd like to be in B or C neighborhoods. Now, that's what you want. I get it. Uh, but, you know, part of my job, part of what I do is um, <clears throat> explaining where, you know, some of what your wants, they might not be exactly doable, right? There's going to be some deviations because we can't sell you what doesn't exist. You can't buy what's not out there, right? So we can come very close to that. We can come very close to hitting that. Uh, but there's going to be a little deviations. And that's either going to be going up a little bit in price uh, or going uh, to areas that are slightly riskier because there's no scenario where you're going to be all in uh, to a single family home in a B class neighborhood for like 40 K. It's, it's just not going to happen, right? That's just, that's not possible, but uh, we can come very close to that. And I think uh, the two properties I've produced for you today, I think you're going to like them and I think you're going to be very interested. 2116 Forestdale Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This is the first property. It's been listed by Remax for over 130 days, 131 days on the market as of today. That's a long time. List price, 49900 Why has it been on the market for so long and why do I like it for you so much? Well, as you see, it's, it's not pretty, right? There's, there's nothing uh, appealing or pretty about this video, right? If you look at the picture of the kitchen, look on the floor, dude, you got all these tiles there's missing tiles there's tiles like you know all over the place it's just gross we got a mop in between the fridge and the cabinet uh you know the countertops are cluttered with stuff everything is outdated nothing is is nice here that's a a picture of uh either i don't know moscow maybe or france i don't know on the toilet seat next to the vanity that's freaking i don't know 50 years old right so there's just nothing uh, appealing about this, right? This old nasty green carpet with this freaking jacked looking blue wall. Like nobody is looking at these photos like, wow, I, I really want to live here. I can't wait to move my family into this home, right? It, it appeals to literally no one. The only appealing factor to this particular property, this particular listing is, is that it's cheap. Uh, it's very, very cheap, but you know, it's just a little, right. And it's uh, currently owned by an owner occupant, right? That's not a tenant. There's no tenants in there. So that's great. 
because there's two types of people that buy properties, right? We have investors. They're looking for rental income. Well, guess what? There's no tenant in here, so we have no rental income coming out of this property. So that leaves us with owner-occupant buyers, people that want to live there. But I mean, dude, you just looked at the same photos I did. Who in the hell is looking at that like, yes, I cannot wait to move into that house, right? This house sucks. And that is where we're going to try to make a deal happen. Now, I believe we can pick this up for, you know, for 38,000 best case scenario. It's been on the market for 131 days at 49.9. Nobody's biting because of reasons I just mentioned. So our target price, best case scenario, we're going to try to pick it up at 38K. If we got to pick it up at 40, that's fine. It's still going to be a good deal. Uh, 41, 42, right? But nothing really higher than that. And I think we can do it. And then I want to put in $15,000 of renovation. After we put in $15,000, I believe we'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant in this property paying us $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. If we get the tenant and they're paying that $1,000 a month, this is what I expect it to look like. This is our expenses. I believe we're going to spend approximately, on average, $473 a month operating this property. Now, that's not every single month. Every property is not going to produce just like this. This is what you can anticipate with a property like this over the long haul, right? You know, investing in real estate, you're not really like just buying one rental property, right? You guys are seasoned investors. I know you guys have properties in other states, so you kind of know this already, but I'm just trying to explain this to the other folks who may be watching your video down the road when it's released publicly on Holton Live TV. Guys, we can't predict for you how a rental property is going to produce every single year. We can't tell you what every single tenant's going to do. All we can do is give you average data that we can anticipate from neighborhoods in similar risk profiles. As far as the neighborhood goes, right? This particular property is in a neighborhood I would grade currently right now as a D-class neighborhood. Okay, but here is the thing about this particular D-class neighborhood. I think this is the hottest D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. It's on the upswing, in my opinion. We are a hop, skip, and a jump from Metro Health, okay? Metro is going to be putting $1 billion into their campus and the surrounding neighborhoods. So I believe that's going to really help pull this neighborhood up. In addition, solid C-class neighborhood to the south, solid neighborhoods to the west, and the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, Ohio City, Detroit, Shore, Edgewater, Tremont. Gordon Square, all those neighborhoods are right up there to the north, right? So we have a lot of stuff surrounding this particular neighborhood, which makes me believe in the long term, this neighborhood's on the upswing. And what we're doing, we're alleviating as much of those risks as possible right now while it's still D-class, and we're going with the Section 8 program, right? The biggest you know, risk factor when you're, you're in a higher risk neighborhood, right? It's the tenants not being able to pay the rent. And then they got to get evicted. That costs a lot of money. And then when they're already been evicted, the property is vacant and then people break into the property, costing you more money. Those are the risks. So if we go with the Section 8 program, it alleviates those risks, right? We're going to get tenants in there with guaranteed government rent. They're probably going to stay longer. Why? Because we're renovating the hell out of this thing. We're putting 15 k in. Right now, the property's crummy. Who in the hell wants to live there for the long haul? Nobody, right? It looks like shit, but we're going to make it look beautiful. Put one of the nicest homes that a tenant who's on Section 8 has the opportunity to, to live in. And then the government's paying their rent. There's really no scenario why they'd really need to move, right? So that's going to keep our vacancy down. It's going to keep the rent consistent, right? That should help keep the performance consistent so you can get the performance that I have produced for you in this chart. And because of all the other factors, man, we're able to pick it up for a, a hell of a good price, right? Because I think a lot of other people are running away from this property. It's not turnkey. It's not beautiful. But we can make it that way, and you're going to get compensated for that very good, right? So if you pick it up at 38 k my target price, if we put 15 k into it, you're going to be all into this investment for 53000 I believe our target, right? I believe if we do this work that I want to do to this, and when I want to renovate this, what I want to do. I want to pull out all these crummy, nasty carpets, refinish the existing hardwoods that are in there, paint the entire thing agreeable gray. I want to paint all the trim white. I want to you know, put some modern fixtures in the kitchen and the bath, right? I want to make it look good. We do all that. I'm anticipating we're going to get it to appraise for 65K. We get it to appraise for 65K. That means the bank is going to loan you 48750 You guys only spent... 53,000 in my scenario here. You bought it cash for 38, you put 15 into it. You're all in for 53. We're going to get the bank to loan you 48,750 back out if it appraises for 65, meaning 
that you're only going to end up with $4,250 in this deal. Beautiful bird deal. It ends up being an 88 88% cash on cash return, right? So this is what I'm talking about when I say we can come very close to what you want to do, right? We can be in that 40 to 55K range with that 900 to 1,000 in rent. But again, you're not getting it in a B class neighborhood. You're not, you're not doing that in one of those neighborhoods for this price, right? But this is what we can accomplish. This is very, very close to that. And I think this is going to be a hell of a deal for you guys. I think this is, uh, should be exactly what you're looking for based upon a, a little modification of what you've told me thus far. Now let's go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, and I'm going to get into the second property that I found for you too. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio, we work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, Christina, Jim, welcome back. Now, this next property, uh, we're going to deviate from your plan just a little bit, right? The previous property, we hit the price point, but we had to deviate from your neighborhood risk tolerance a little bit. We went a little bit below. This one, we're going to be able to hit that. We're in a C-class neighborhood. 215 Gulf Road, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. This one has been listed forever, 530 days, well over a year. Listed currently at 57500 uh, originally, this is why people, this is why sellers, sellers don't understand that sellers think that uh, listing their property at a higher price than they think it's worth uh, or that they're hoping for is somehow going to garner them a, a higher closing price. It doesn't work that way, guys. It just sits on the market forever. Then you end up having to drop your price way down. They originally listed this at like $80,000 and that just sat forever. Now everybody thinks there's something wrong with it because it's been on the market forever. And nobody's picking it up. So we're going to try to pick this up for a cheap price. But after the reno, we're, we're going to be, you know, we're in the neighborhood, but we're going to be a little bit above your, your anticipated price range, right? Because you're going to have to give or take. We're either going to have to uh, deviate on the neighborhood or we're going to have to deviate on your budget here. What I'd like to do is pick this up for you for $45,000. And then this is a big old house. I'd like to, to put in $20,000 of renovations. We're going to do similar things to the last property. But the house is bigger, so we're just going to budget a little bit more money. 65000 should be our all-in price. So we're close, uh, but we're just a little bit above it. And as you can see, right, uh, it doesn't look great, right? This is, you know, you got all the furniture and crap from uh, the tenant. It's just old. And we, you know, there's not many pictures to go off of, but what we do see is, is just gross. It's grimy, right? So $20,000 uh, is what I want to put into it, right? And I think we pick it up for forty five k. And then we're going to put in a Section 8 tenant paying $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year. Now, here's the thing. It's the other thing why I think we can get such a low price, right? It's not even being marketed appropriately, right? As I talked about in the previous property, two types of buyers out there. Buyers that are looking for rental income. Those are the investors and then people that want to move into the house. Well, the agent on this particular property, this agent, man, he shit the bed, dude. He's doing a terrible job for a seller. I mean, I'm... You know, he's a guy out there working at Kiko, 
uh, Kiko Real Estate. I'm not here to try to bash the guy, but unfortunately, he's uh, not properly marketing his property. Well, unfortunately for his client. Fortunately for you, because I think that's what's going to allow us to get it so cheap, right? Because here's the deal. I was trying to get some other follow-up information from him because he never put how much um, the tenant's actually paying, right? So we got a tenant-occupied property. Uh, he's talking about this tenant, but he never tells me how much the tenant's paying in his listing. So I reach out to the dude. I'm like, yo, man, how much the tenant paying? Obviously, that's the most important thing when we're looking at a rental property. Uh, apparently, the tenant moved out, but the guy never bothered to go back to the listing, get new photos showing the property's vacant, and never bothered to sh uh, change the notes that uh, demonstrate this to all the other realtors. So there's all these realtors out there that may have owner-occupied buyers that may be willing to move into this property, but they're not looking at it because they think it's a rental property. They're just passing it by. You can't move into a property if there's already a tenant in there. And then all the rental property investors that are looking at this property, they're reaching out to this cat, seeing how much the rent is, but there ain't no rent. So they're not interested, right? So, you know, the two possible people that could purchase this property, this guy's got it all screwed up. It's not working for either. So that's why I think we can pick it up at a deeply discounted price, 45K. So 45K, all the stuff I talked about for the previous property, we're going to do all that stuff should be about, you know, 20 K and then we'll get that thousand in rent. We're going to go section eight as well. Right. And then what's that going to look like? Well, thousand comes in. I anticipate average spending 467. That's 533 in net operating income. Now the neighborhood nicer, right? It's a C class neighborhood too. So that's going to help, help us on the appraisal. If we're all into this sucker for 65K and we get this to appraise for a little bit higher because the property sell for a little higher in this particular neighborhood than the previous neighborhood, I believe we'll get this to appraise for 75,000. So you've put 65K into this, the bank, they should loan you guys 56,250, meaning you'll be all into this deal for only $8,750. And that, my friends, is going to be a 41% cash on cash return. And this particular property, it's always going to, well, currently right now, if nothing happened to these neighborhoods, if nothing moved, nothing shifted, this particular property would have a higher resale value. And I anticipate you having a, a lower risk tenant pool. However, the previous video, D-Class Today, I do believe that that neighborhood is going to go up. Whereas this neighborhood, I anticipate to just remain flat. I don't anticipate this neighborhood moving into the B class. I don't anticipate it moving down to the D class. I just anticipate it staying flat at C class. The other one, currently D, but I see it going up. That's just my speculation. So those are the two factors. Both of these properties come very, very close to everything you want to do, but we had to deviate slightly. One on neighborhood, one on price, but I think based upon the numbers and what we can do, I think both of them will completely work for you guys. Let me know. Give me the feedback. And if uh, you guys want to adjust and maybe we scrap these, we do uh, analysis on two more properties with some more detail and a, a new direction, we can do that. Or, you know, my team would be more than happy to put in the offers for you on both of these properties, negotiate these properties on your behalf. We'll be able to handle the construction needed after closing. We'll handle all the property management. We'll be able to provide you guys the top to bottom turnkey solution. In both of these properties, I provided you guys with insurance quotes. We will handle your insurance as well. We handle rental property insurance. As a matter of fact, everybody watching, click the show notes below. We got a link for everyone out there who's watching this to click that and uh, provide us the information on your rental portfolio. It doesn't have to be in Cleveland. We are licensed coast to coast and uh, we can lower your insurance premium. So we, we really do have everything set up to help you guys invest in real estate and to maximize the amount of money you can make with these assets. So uh, Christina, Jim, let me know what you guys want to do. Are we going to move forward on these deals? Are we going to move to other stuff? Everybody else, again, you want to work with me in this way, go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search Analysis Show, order yourself a package, get started working with my team today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.
Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.